What's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about hand therapy certification and if it's actually worth it. So the hand therapy pass rate is about 50%. And the pass rate on the second attempt is actually 65%. The test is extremely difficult and it requires months of preparation for most people. Now, many OTs and PTs have reported that the exam was more difficult than their national board exams. Now, certified or not, most physical or occupational therapists can become a hand therapist without being certified. Certification only shows that you've passed the exam. Now, there's a lot of people that will tell you that it's difficult to get a job without certification, but that's not the full true story. So hand therapy jobs are in high demand in general, and most clinics are constantly searching for a therapist to be able to cover for their vacation hours or holidays or even medical leave. Now, one of the biggest problems hand therapists face is, is just finding coverage. Now, it's true that some clinics will only hire a certified hand therapist, but there's plenty of other places that will hire you without certification. And I've actually known hand surgeons who, who prefer hand therapists over certified hand therapists. Um, I've had surgeons talk to me and just say that they think that certified hand therapists think that they know everything and a lot of times they won't take their advice. So while it may be a great achievement to pass the certification exam, it's not necessary. And here are just some pros and cons to kind of give you an idea if you should become a CHT. So the pros for hand therapy are you're going to be more marketable. Um, you're going to be able to get a job pretty much anywhere you want, um, especially in places like California where it's a lot more difficult to become to work in hand therapy unless you're certified. California is like one of the hardest places to work as a hand therapist. If you're not certified, uh, you can still work as a hand therapist, but there's certain things you can't do, like use modalities, and you need like extra super supervision. It's it's just kind of annoying, but that's just like a California rule according to the the way the board has um, made these regulations. But if you have certification, you're going to be way more marketable. It's just going to be a lot easier to get a job anywhere. So another pro of being a CHT is just knowledge base. You're going to know so much more than the average therapist. You are going to have really put yourself through this difficult exam, and you're going to just feel a lot more confident in that area. You're gonna be up to date with the latest research and you're just gonna have a better idea overall of how to treat a specific diagnosis or condition rather than just being an OT that, that kind of walks in the door and starts working in hands. But you can also get a lot of this knowledge and experience from just working with patients, studying as you go, and just shadowing like a really good mentor. Another pro of hand therapy is recognition. Um, you can say that I'm a CHT, which um, adds like a like huge credibility and a lot of people are gonna trust you more. Now, the only problem with that is most people that come to your clinics, they don't even know what a CHT is, so your patients probably aren't gonna really care. But physicians or physical therapists or anyone who's like referring you out may refer them to you because you have that expertise over some other clinician who doesn't have a CHT. Okay, so what are the cons working as a CHT? So the the pass rate is low, right? It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna 50% your first time you're gonna even pass it, and then 65% your second time that you're gonna um, pass it. And then also it's gonna be expensive. So every time you take the exam, you're gonna have to spend 500 bucks. And then you have to recertify every five years. And then you have to do 80 hours of CEUs every five years. And you have to have 2000 hours related to hand therapy every five years. So that is a lot of hours that you have to spend in hand therapy. So if you decide you want that hand therapy is not for you, but you want to keep your license, well, you still have to get all those hours every five years. Now, you also have recertification fees, which can be expensive as well. For me, I'm going to say like hand therapy certification is worth it. First of all, if you want to do this the rest of your life and you want to get really good at it, I would say definitely get the certification. It's going to give you that knowledge base. It's there's it's just gonna be really helpful. And even if you don't pass the exam, like it, getting all that knowledge is gonna be beneficial to you in the end, whether or not you become certified. And say you, you can take the certification exam, not become a hand therapist, and still be a good hand therapist. You're not gonna be certified, 
but you can still be an excellent hand therapist. And I think that's all that matters. So for a lot of us, you don't have to get certification if you don't need it. For the people that are definitely like, I want to do this for the rest of my life, I would say get the certification, renew the certification every five years. I think it's just going to be worth it for you. And let me know your thoughts on hand therapy certification. Do you think certification is worth it? Do you think you should just go without certification? I want to hear what you think. Oh, and I also have another video that I'll put here, and it's all about how to start splinting using cardboard. It's just a simple way to start splinting at home, to start getting comfortable with it, so you don't have to be at a clinic and use expensive materials. All right, I hope you like this video. Definitely like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.